Hello and welcome to my research proposal presentation for ITLS 6510. After doing the literature review for this class, research shows that there is a growing concern and resistance among foreign language instructors and learners to mostly all teaching related to blended, hybrid, and online courses. And this is probably attributed to the fact that the effectiveness of such courses is still uncertain, and it seems that the online environment may not be suitable to the interacting nature of um, language development. So the question is, do blended language courses truly enhance language learning? And um, these research proposals main objective is to explore if language acquisition can occur in a hybrid environment as compared to a face-to-face -face setting. A standardized test will be administered at the beginning and at the end of the semester to both groups to experiment on the control group to measure their language proficiency. It is expected that the uh, students in the experimental group perform at a higher level because of the intervention and the benefits of online and language instruction is that technology can support significantly the development of linguistic skills such as writing, reading, listening and speaking. The sample description, it will be, this research will be carried out at a public lo local university and the target population is a, a college students, of course, enrolled in an upper division class, Spanish 5200, and students will be tested um, <clears throat> with a uh, test that follows the guidelines by the American Council on the Teaching of Foreign Languages Act for um, Two groups will be ex established, an experimental group and a control group, and they, they both will cover pretty much the same content for Spanish medical personnel, aspects such, such as grammar, vocabulary, phrases, and cultural factors, except that for the hybrid class or the experimental group, it's a combination of a face-to-face -face sessions of an hour and a half plus an online component. The students are required to to spend at least four hours weekly on the online modules, materials, and assignments. For the face-to-face -face, uh, class or control group, um, they will receive a conventional instruction. It includes two face-to-face -face sessions of two hours on a weekly basis. And the class is a regular face-to-face -face lecture format. Students may use the online platform, but only with limited access to materials um, in consultation with the instructor. But there aren't any additional modules or assignments to be completed. The data collection to instruments will be used, surveys and tests. Uh, the surveys are internet-based and they will be administered to all the participant, participants in the study, uh, the hybrid and the face-to-face -face class before and after the intervention. The surveys uh, is to collect, the purpose of these ones are to collect information about students' expectations and maybe um, motives that will guide their decisions into taking uh, blended or face-to-face -face classes, advantages and disadvantages of taking these, these, these uh, kinds of classes. Also, some information about linguistic development such as um, advancement in specific linguistic uh, areas. Uh, that show development dura during the intervention and also areas that students believe they needed additional academic support for linguistic development. The other tool is the test, the standardized test by ACTFL, which is um, done to measure students' language proficiency on the four major skills. Mm, now, uh, compensation students will be compensated. Uh, they will have uh, free access to the online components as as, um, as soon as the project is done. The study design, the participants will be randomly assigned by having a computer generate a random list of names. In this way, all students have an equal opportunity to participate either in the experimental or the control group. So I've chosen a pre-test, post-test control group design, and it will be used as this depicted as uh, it is in your screen. The experimental group ROXO and control group RO blank O. In other words, the experimental group will have a pretest, then the intervention and the post-test, and the control group, the pretest, no intervention and post-test. Um, now the variables for this study, the independent is the instructional strategy 
uh, the approach to teach a language using a hybrid model. I have mentioned before that the experimental group will attend to weekly regular face-to-face -face sessions and will have access to online additional materials, modules, and assignments. And the dependent variable is related to the enhancement of the development of linguistic skills by utilizing an online component and a hybrid language class. The procedure. Now, the data collection in this research includes surveys and they are internet-based uh, and they will be given to students at the beginning and at the end of the semester, as well as the language proficiency test by ACTFL. It will be also administered by an, act, uh, a, an ACTFL official to both groups, the hybrid course and the traditional face-to-face -face course. The intervention is a, call, a class a 5200 Spanish for medical personnel and for the hybrid model uh, the students will attend weekly sessions of one and a half hours and an online component. The required texts are by Cengage Learning and they include a Spanish grammar book and a Spanish for medical personnel which is which is uh, uh, only specifically to nursing students. Um, there is also uh, an electronic workbook for each one of those, tutorials and presentations. Some of the elements of the intervention include as well also quizzes a week, on a weekly basis, presentations, three different presentations that students are supposed to record and share with the class through Canvas, as well as, as the case studies. And they're specifically targeted to situations uh, between a nurse and a Spanish-speaking patient and the oral exams. Data analysis. The, the, uh, the infer inferential statistical statistics will be the most appropriate for this research since it allows making comparisons between the two groups. Um, so <clears throat> the first step is to establish a hypothesis and the second is calculating the means and standard deviation for both groups. Um, since it's quantitative data, a t-test will be done to establish comparisons between the experimental and the control group. Discussion. It is expected that the experimental group will obtain higher scores in the tests than the control group if the scores of the experimental group are indeed higher, so the online enhanced scores did help the students in their linguistic development. Additionally, the, the data collected through the surveys will probably show in emerging features that characterize a student's attitudes towards blended and language instruction. Threats of validity include the following maturation, testing, experimental mortality, and the John Henry effect. Maturation, as students may be overwhelmed by the online workload, which may have a negative effect in their academic performance, or others may not be accustomed to the online setting and working on their own. Um, as uh, testing also, since students are taking a test twice, they may become test wise so that may become a problem. Experimental mortality due to the intensity of the hybrid course that requires reviewing the online materials prior to class. Uh, students are supposed to prepare to get uh, ready to use class time using the language. This, In the same way, online assignments may be challenging for those students that are taking a hybrid course for the first time. For these reasons, um, some students may drop out the class. Uh, the John Henry effect, of course, um, the control group participants may become demoralized and resentful because they're not receiving the same treatment as the experimental group. Now, conclusion, um, distance learning actually challenges the general well-rooted instructionist idea of teaching, which suggests that uh, knowledge needs to be transmitted rather than constructed. constructed. Uh, consequently, in the hybrid more in mode, the roles of the teacher and the students are being challenged. One of the main features of online settings is the separation of these roles, where students and instructors are in different locations and that is truly the main challenge. Hence, the goal of this study is to prove that foreign language online environments are effective because students have more time at their disposal to access the materials and therefore perform at a higher level than those who do not have access to the online component. 
Technology can certainly provide academic assistance to foster language acquisition in all linguistic skills, but it depends largely on the students' attitudes towards learning using technology and working alone without direct supervision of the teacher as in the conventional class format. Uh, thank you very much for your, t for your attention.